Welcome to another video on Geography Skills. Today we're going to look at another acronym in order to remember the seven key geographic concepts. That is spices or spices or spices. Actually it doesn't matter as long as you remember it. These concepts are space, place, interconnection, change, environment, scale and sustainability. That may seem like a lot to take in, so let's just take one term at a time and go through them. Firstly, space. When we're thinking about space, we're thinking about the spatial distribution of an area. Is that area significant? How is that area organised or managed? A helpful example here might be the BBC program Grand Designs with Kevin MacLeod. Kevin loves to go on about how buildings use light and what kind of a space they've created. This can be both absolute, such as the library is a space, or relative. I might have a certain couch at home where I turn on the light of an evening and that's my relaxing reading space. A lot of the time when we're thinking through space, we first need to get a handle of what is the purpose of that space. Which brings us to place. Many students get these two terms confused. I like to say that place is much more conceptual. It's what you think about an area. Because of this, places can give meaning and can help you to identify with something. They can be both very local or global. They can also mean different things to different people. An attic, for example, might be a cosy, adventurous place or a scary place, depending on who's looking at it. At the end of the day, it's what you think about a place that defines it. So places can have importance for some people, they can provide others with a sense of identity, or a sense of belonging where they feel they connect with others. Which brings us to interconnection. They say that nothing happens in a vacuum. Which is right if you think about it. If something happened, it wouldn't be a vacuum. But this phrase basically means nothing happens in isolation, but everything is connected in some way or another. So when thinking through this geographic term, we want to ask questions like, what ways are places connected to each other? How significant are those connections? How did those connections occur? And why are they important? Getting a handle of that is crucial when we look at the next geographic concept, which is change. Change is a way of explaining geographic phenomena and processes. These can be both natural, such as a river causing a canyon, or human-induced, such as climate change. They can be both predictable and unpredictable, can occur gradually, such as natural erosion, or quickly, such as an earthquake. While longer, predictable processes are easy to discuss, sometimes change can occur in a completely random fashion. And change can have significantly different impacts based on when it occurs, how it occurs, and where it occurs. Environment. When discussing the environment, we're largely talking about how humans relate to our environment. This question is often referred to as interrelating. The environment supports us by giving us food, raw materials, it recycles many of our waste products such as carbon dioxide, and provides habitats for animals who live in complex ecosystems. The environment is a product of a whole range of different processes, from geomorphic to biotic, geological and human-induced. Humans relate with the environment in very different ways. It depends on how you perceive it, which leads to people adapting to it in different ways, and using it in different ways. These different perceptions of the environment depend on cultural differences, they could also be based on the level of technology we possess, population density, the type of economy a country might have, and their values and worldview. Scale. The concept of scale is examining geographic phenomena from a number of different spatial levels. These can be personal, local, regional, national, international or global. Let's use drought as an example. From a personal level, we might look at a farmer who's struggling to feed his cows. At a local level, all of the farmers might have to travel far and wide trying to provide as much grass as possible 
for their herds. At a regional level, they might organise for trucks to bring in feed, hay from other areas to feed their cows when the grass runs out. At a national level, perhaps this might have an impact on live exports. Perhaps we will have a bit of a trade deficit as a country, based on our inability to provide enough cattle. At an international level, we might look at the overuse of beef as a foodstuff, which has created imbalance in different ecosystems. From a global point of view, climate change might cause a greater infertility of soil, and we may need to think through how efficient our food production processes are. Which leads us to sustainability. Sustainability is us living in such a way that we can guarantee the environment is still there for future generations. This can range from governments giving funds for renewable energy startups to the home where we work on recycling as many materials as possible. An example of this can be found on Grand Designs where people have developed a type of home called an Earthship. This is a home where they try to recycle everything needed to build the property and make the property as sustainable as possible. So that's spices. Any questions, comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe.